morning, everybody. Good um, afternoon. This is actually my like the second time I've done some public speaking, so hopefully I'll be happy to go okay. Well, I'll do my best. Um, yeah, basically, kind of some of the things I had in my bio there, really kind of the reason I put them in is going to give you some sort of focus on kind of the idea of where you're looking to go when you're in high school and into college. But the idea of you're excelling in one sport. I pretty much know here that everyone is a very good golfer. I'm going to guarantee that you're all quite all better golfers than I am. Um, but one of the key things with that in development is also to kind of get involved in other sports as well. Um, some of the skills you learn in other sports will certainly help you with your golf game. Um, and really, kind of my point of bringing that up is I know a lot of you are probably active in your high schools with other sports, and you may be getting some sort of pressure on really kind of focusing solely on golf and ignoring the other sports. I don't want to take away the idea of you've got to focus on golf because that is a big part of things. But don't don't ignore the other sports as well. Like I say, you will learn a lot of key skills that are required in the golf game through playing other sports. So keep that in mind and focusing on golf as well as the other sports you play. Now first off kind of get started with this I just kind of want to throw out a little question to everybody. If you can hand up and answer the question, that's fine. I just want to kind of get a feel for why it's targeted to you, the, the junior golfers, why you play golf. Okay, so if you've got an idea or, or an answer for why you play golf, I'd like to know why. If you want to start me off with any reason for why you play golf. I'll throw one up straight off, okay? It's fun. Okay, that's why I play golf. I enjoy it. It's a great game. It's a lot of fun for me. Is there any other reason why some of you guys play? Yeah. Good use for free time. Okay, it's good use for free time, absolutely. You're out there, you're active. Great, absolutely. Anybody else? The competition. Okay, competition's a big side of it. Yeah, you like the competitiveness of it. Okay, and, it, and that kind of leads into another another one that probably the reason you like the competitiveness of it is because you're probably pretty good at it. Okay, so you play, I mean, most people play sports or choose sports, particularly at the high school level, because you excel at it, you're, you're a good sports player. And uh, something you want to do. Okay. How about maybe you started out in the sport because some of your friends played it? Okay, again, another big reason I see a lot of people playing is mainly because a lot of their friends play that sport as well. It gets you into the game, you find out, you know what, this is pretty cool, I like this game, I'm going to stick at it. You start developing through that one. Okay. There, basically, it's most of the, the reasons that I tend to find from you know, speaking to a lot of junior golfers that the reasons why they tend to play golf. Okay, or any sport for that matter. It, they, they kind of like the fun side of it, their friends play, they fit in, they want to do what all the peers or all the social, all the social friends, interaction with the friends. It feels good because you're, like I say, you're getting good at it. It feels good to do something you're good at. It's a big, big part of it. You want to continue on that development. It's also, it, it basically kind of pushes you on to kind of exceed and develop within that game. Basically, here's kind of what we see the junior game in terms of fitness and your, your stage development into the college game. Junior golf schools need to develop fundamental movement skills. Okay? Establish fundamental movement patterns, develop sport specific skills, teach golf specific skills, and most importantly create a lot for the game. Okay? Now the reason one of the reasons that I'm talking here today is a lot of people really key in on the sport specific skills side of things. You're out there on the range hitting balls, working on your golf game, you're playing number of holes of golf a week. I don't, I don't even know how many holes you guys play a week. It's a lot more than I play. I wish I could play as many as you guys, but I know you play a lot of, a lot of golf. But how many of you dedicate a lot of time to golf fitness? Okay. And do you want to guess how much, how much time you spend? And you want to give me an answer? Really, we tend to find that fitness in golf really very, very marginal. People will maybe do a little bit of stretching, you'll do maybe go to the gym, you'll do some cardio training, you'll, you'll get and learn some sort of movements through other sports, but very, very few people train their body for golf. Okay? If you play soccer, if you go to soccer training, you'll do exercises to help you with the muscles you use in your soccer game. You go to baseball training, you again you do stretch, you do things targeted towards getting your body in shape for your, your baseball game. Tennis, exactly the same. But I really don't see many people thinking, okay, I'm going to play golf. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend an hour working on my movement patterns I need for my golf game. Okay? And you're really kind of missing out on one of the things that's really going to help you develop your golf game. 
Okay, that's a key part that I'm going to kind of talk a little about today, and that's kind of where our philosophy goes and what we're starting to look at in junior fitness golf. Okay, this this phrase at the top there, long-term athletic development. Okay, this this is something that's really kind of become a development factor over the last ten years now. Okay, something I don't know how many people here have heard of the Titles Performance Institute. Good, good. Okay, they're kind of starting to educate particularly in this, this area of the world, Americans, about the fitness side of golf, okay? One of the other leaders in this, in this area is um, the Royal Canadian Golf Association. They, they really kind of were one of the first people to kind of look at junior golf and the development of junior golfers. And they kind of developed this long-term athletic development. They, they say the LTAD, which is mostly short for that, approach focuses on having kids perform age-appropriate skill acquisition drills to maximize their athletic potential. It progressively gets more complicated and more specialized as the athlete develops and reaches the next level of development. And as you see at the bottom, a guy called Dishan Bali. He is a leader in child development and educate and exercise, sorry. And really he kind of looked at movements required with golf swing and how young people can develop the skills, skill movements, the functional movements required to perfect the movement patterns in the golf swing. And he came up with this, this whole development program on how to best put it into practice. Some of the key factors that influence this, okay, there's something called a 10 year rule. It's almost kind of like the, the idea of mastery, okay. You, you've got to start out at a very kind of basic fundamental level and learn very key movement patterns, okay. That starts off at a very, like I say, very ground based level, okay. And as you start progressing, you can start to learn more complex skills. Okay, and like I say, this is, this is an area that we feel juniors, particularly maybe at a very young age, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, how many people have picked up golf between the ages of, let's say, five and eight? And you picked up before the age of five, maybe swing a golf club before the age of five? Awesome, awesome. Well, one of the things that, that uh, Bali discovered was that really, in terms of golf, the golf game, you don't really need to swing a proper, a, 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 I'm going to say an adult golf club, but a, 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 a proper golf club until you're around about the age of eight, nine years old, eight or nine years old. Mainly because the skill development, you don't have the skill acquisition yet to kind of master the movements required in golf. So the golf clubs you see in Toys R Us, they're $20, they're a plastic set. At the age of five, six, seven or eight, that's perfect for you. That's exactly what you'd be looking for at that age. And as you can progress through, that's where you start to kind of develop movement patterns, you start using the, the, the full size or well, the full size clubs with the prop clubs, and you have the movement acquisition there to kind of put that into practice and learn the movements required. So they're the kind of the, the, key, the key factors with the fundamentals, transfer of learning, developmental perspective, windows of opportunity, and phases of skill development. I'm going to talk about these sort of things as we go through today. Okay, each of those are very, very important in the development of getting your body in shape for golf. Again, the stages of developing a golfer. Fundamental movement skills are very, very important to develop before we develop fundamental sports skills. Okay, and again, when, that's, when we think about golf fitness, we're more thinking about the movement skills as opposed to the sports skills. Sports skills are taught by golf teachers and your club pro, your whoever you take your lessons from, they really focus in on your sports skills and golf. Okay, I don't know how many people have gone through maybe a junior summer camp at the club they belong to. That's the sports skills that you're developing. They, up until the LTAD was kind of developed, really nobody thought about the movement skills required. Okay, so that's kind of what the body balance that, that I work for and, and kind of a lot of the junior golf fitness people are looking at is how can we get those movement skills into golfers and help them make that next stage, get them stronger, get them more flexible, increase the range of motion, have more stability, and maintain good mobility in the ball Okay, so that's really what that movement skills kind of looks at. 